I've always had this deep desire to be a nomad. I think it's within all of us to an extent. It's only about like 10,000 years ago there were few if any permanent houses or villages. People moved around all the time from place to place. But let me take you back. It wasn't too long ago I felt trapped. During COVID lockdowns in Melbourne, Australia, I was stuck living in a three bedroom house all by myself, alone, with nothing but my thoughts to pass the time. The identity I built of myself as a tabibito had been completely dismantled. And I was one to go on an epic adventure at least once a week, spend multiple months at a time traveling across countries on my bike. But being locked down for a total of 245 days without any end in sight took a massive toll. But looking back in hindsight, I think this experience was the catalyst for me to figure out who I was and what I really valued in this life. What do you value in life? Freedom, change, authenticity, openness and curiosity? You know your mind hasn't comprehended everything there is to comprehend. You know there's always more to learn, new experiences to experience, new ideas to understand and new people to meet. All right, rescue job. Oh mate, in the camper van has got a bit bogged. So we're gonna help pull him out. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what was your name again? Sorry, mate. Al, man. Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah sweet yeah. ass. Yeah. I just uh, you want your you want some wipes? Or? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, go, go, dude. All right. Go far away. Yeah, go. Yeah, that's my little. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Big spacious bed. Yeah, no. Yeah. Man. Someone ran into me. Oh, no joke. Yeah, yeah. Was this recent? Yeah, just uh, last week. Yeah. It's all that stuff. Oh, the drawers, they're yeah. huge, hey? Yeah. They're awesome. Built that one. But something has always fascinated me with the idea of living out of a vehicle. A home on wheels. There's something romantic about it. Oh, wow. Jenny boy, you just keep looking out the window, don't you? There's something out there you want to go play with? A kangaroo? What is out there? Morning guys. Oh man. You can actually camp in the 86. I'm so surprised. Oh. The freedom to hit the open road and roam to places that you've never been before while also bringing the comforts of home along with you. It's like when you're a nomad, nowhere is home, but somehow home is also everywhere. Oh. G'day guys. Uh, yeah, so I was supposed to catch a flight to the Sunshine Coast and I might have missed it and the next flight isn't until tomorrow. So what I thought was I could get a rental car and live out of the rental car for 24 hours and do some car camping, check out some sites. And I thought, you know, that's probably a better option. So that's what we chose for and got myself a new whip. I got the Hyundai something. It all started back when I was traveling across America by bike and coming to the realization that life on a bike for multiple months at a time is rough. It's tough going. It's it's not the most comfortable of, of uh, ways to travel. Found this little town here and I actually camped under this awning here at a church for the night. So, Although having that said, yes, bicycle touring is a bit rough and there's some nights you're just sleeping in the pouring rain, you don't have a shelter. I've done it rough sometimes, just sleeping on the side of the road, on the side of highways and all that kind of stuff. It's all part of the adventure, but if you do do it right, it actually can be somewhat comfortable. If you guys are looking for more information, check out my other YouTube channel, Cycle Travel Overload, and my website where I give heaps of tips and information about bicycle touring that could be of some interest. It's definitely an amazing way to travel oh. and one of the best ways to see the world. Come here. <laughs> I became fascinated by the van life movement, watching countless videos on van builds and day in the life vlogs. And it was at this point that I actually took the plunge and I brought a van. But later came to realize that a front wheel drive vehicle was rather limiting. And that's when I started looking into four wheel drives. And I had this idea, maybe I could somehow combine the idea of van life and living in a van with a four wheel drive and do, I guess, the hashtag wagon life. So I brought a Nissan Patrol. 
I've been looking all over online for one. But it so happened that a family member had the exact car that I was looking for and they were selling it. So I just had to jump on the opportunity. But I guess this journey for me goes much deeper than just buying a four wheel drive to travel and live out of. At the same time, I was going through a deep spiritual journey, trying to figure out who I was at the deepest of levels, an awakening, if you will, seeking truth, a time for me to go inward, a time for solitude. Was I seeking inner freedom or am I just running away from something? I don't know. I think I've always had this urge for the simple life, valuing life experiences rather than things, developing the capacity to enjoy less. It seems a simple life is a happy life. Whether riding across countries on a bike or living out of a vehicle, you can only fit a limited amount of belongings, otherwise it becomes a burden to carry so much stuff. Choosing to live such an alternative lifestyle definitely forces you into a more minimalist approach to life. As time goes on living this nomadic life, it seems to become easier and easier to live with less, only the true essentials. The key is to not become a slave to your attachments, having acceptance if things go south, just realizing that that too is part of the adventure. Being a nomad to me means breaking free, being flexible, starting from scratch time and time again. It seems I'm a master at leaving things behind and starting over. Sometimes I question if that's how one should live life, just let go. To people, to things, the way you think life's supposed to be, embrace change and uncertainty. It seems the only constant in life is change and nothing is ever really here to stay. True security comes from within ourselves and not out there. I'm not sure if this is something that I want to do long term. Living out of a four wheel drive, it gets cramped at times and sometimes I wish I really had a huge van. But then I couldn't really explore some of the places that I'm able to get to in this thing. It's a bit of a sacrifice. But to be honest, I would much rather this type of lifestyle. I prefer novelty over tedious monotony and routine. Every day is new with endless possibilities. And there's just something about that that I just can't get enough of. A life of excitement and adventure. I feel like we're all on this inner journey. For me, making the decision to hit the road six months ago and live out of my vehicle, that was the form it took for me. You don't have to run away to a new place to try and figure out who you are. But for me, I feel like the open road is always calling and it's where I find myself.